めきでー Hey guys It's me The Shadow Dash And I'm Gonna be reacting to The Cutie Mark uh, A Cutie Mark A Crusaders MLP fanfic reading By The Lost a narrator. So yeah, uh let's go. Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there was a town on the edge of the forest. The forest was something that all the town's inhabitants knew to avoid, but the town prospered regardless of the forest's dangers. In this town lived hundreds of all types of ponies, unicorn, pegasi, and earth ponies. The earth ponies tended to the land, while the pegasi see to the weather. The unicorns used their magical abilities to perform various tasks around the town, helping every pony they can. On the edge of the town, not far from the Everfree Forest, there was a farm. This farm was huge, consisting of nothing but apple trees as far as the eye could see. Living on the farm were two siblings. Okay, so I don't really know if this person is making content anymore or something. But, you know, I do like her, you know, readings, if I'm being honest an earth pony brother and sister, and together they tended to the innumerable apple trees each year, providing high-quality apples across the land. A fashionista lived near the center of town. She lived alone, but that didn't bother her. It allowed her to focus on her beautiful dresses in peace. She sold them to the best of nobility, her name reaching as far as the farm's apples. Above the town lived a Wonderbolt cadet, her speed was unrivaled by even the best flyers. She spent her time not working on the weather, but practicing and training for her future career. She dashed and zoomed, looped and weaved, and performed very complex maneuvers each day. Once she finished a set of exercises, she was met with silence. She often took a break in one of the trees. The silence allowed her to nap without interruption. Elsewhere in the town, there stood a schoolhouse. In the schoolhouse, there were many little fillies and colts, some with cutie marks, some without. Their destinies without a cutie mark were often difficult. The pressures of finding one's destiny on top of a bully or two made adolescence intolerable at times. Every year, there were one or two fillies or colts that hadn't found their true talents as fast as the rest of the class had. Their supposed failures and constant bullying drove them to depression. But when the pain became too much, they found three little fillies who just wanted to have fun together on their quest to find their cutie marks. The filly or cult instantly befriended them, and together they went on adventures to try and find their cutie marks. Their depression waned, as each day was filled with joy. The bullies had no effect, as nothing can ruin the happiness of playing with friends each day. And so, the school year would go on. One filly or cult, remaining a blank flank far longer than thought possible. Normally in other places, this would be of no concern, as the foal would be considered a late bloomer and would find their talent just like the rest of them. But this town was far from normal. Each year, on the very first day of summer vacation, that filly or cult would go out to play with his or her new friends. They would wander town looking for their friends for hours unable to find them saddened by the disappearance i actually <laughs> sorry about that um i actually like the um i actually like the like a design of apple bloom sweet bell and scootaloo on screen parents of their friends this foal would wander the vast farm of apple trees never to be heard from again but every pony who lived in the town for several years knew exactly where that filly or colt went. He or she would be joined by their friends, playing amongst the trees of Sweet Apple Acres. 
And then, at the start of the new year, the cycle would begin anew. Another filly or colt would find three fillies to befriend, and together they would go on grand adventures. And at the end of each year, on the first day of summer, they too would disappear within the farm of trees. And each year, the town would search, hoping the cycle would be broken, but finding everything the same as the previous year. The parents would grieve for their loss, often taking their own lives in the process. Those who lived would try to warn others, but their warnings would fall on deaf ears, assuming to be nothing more than a story to scare fillies or colts into behaving. But by the end of the next year, those that were warned quickly realized the truth of those warnings first hoof. Again, a search would be had. Again, the discovery the same. But no matter how many times this process repeated, no pony dared to be the first to check the center of the farm. Near sunset on the second day, the search parties would converge in the center, most knowing all too well what awaited them. The filly or colt that had gone missing would be found, curled up on the ground in front of a stone slab as though they were just sleeping. But the others knew better. They would only need to see the red and gold cape tied loosely around the foal's neck as confirmation. The parents would be filled with grief, rushing forward to embrace their loved one as the others looked away unable to bear witness to these events. Cries of joy quickly turned to sorrow and rage, their little one unresponsive to their touch and cold as the stone in their hooves. The town's inhabitants would walk away, eyes dry, as they had seen this enough to know what had happened, many having gone through it themselves. Then, throughout the summer, the fields of trees would be filled with laughter a brother and sister focusing on their work in an effort to ignore the pain that accompanied the giggles of four foals. Every night that summer, the siblings on the farm, the fashionista, and- Okay then, so... <sighs> yeah, that's a lot to take in. Yikes. And the Wonderbolt Cadet would return to the spot where so many fillies and colts had lost their lives, paying homage to them and the ones responsible for their deaths, begging for an end to a curse plaguing their town. For the center of the vast fields of apples laid the remains of a burnt down treehouse. In front of the treehouse was a single slab of vertical stone with a simple reading. Here lies Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, and Scootaloo, three fillies whose lives were taken too soon, their destinies taken away before they were found. May you find eternal happiness, CMC. Um... <laughs> Well then, um, that was a little depressing for the um, uh, Cutie Mark uh, Crusaders, I guess. But yeah, that was my reaction to the Cutie Mark Crusaders by the Lost a Narrator. And yeah, that's it really, I guess. Um, I'll see you guys next time and bye.